Hey, where is the camera in this? It's behind the little screen. Okay. It's just where the words are. Yeah, I figured that out just now. Yay! Welcome to the first in-season edition of Starting Lineup for the 2014 season with Andrew Wiebe. I'm Jason Sagini, and we are looking forward now to round two of MLS Fantasy. Yeah, empty cup of coffee here. Jason, taking forever to get in the studio. Beard doesn't trim itself. I think the real holdup, someone's got to pick out that cardigan. <laughs> I have, a, I have a wardrobe artist at home, Andrew. Clearly, you do not, though. A reminder to everybody, we are popping out three starting lineups a week these days. It's kind of like Raw and SmackDown for you wrestling fans. We have Team Sagini, we have Team Weeby, and then I guess that makes this one WrestleMania. Yeah, I think at the end of the year, loser takes a metal chair. Okay, I'm definitely down for that. Speaking of our other videos, let's check out the scores for week one, and you'll see why I'm okay with that. Stud and dud over here. Dud. Well, despite a decent start to the season, I'm only in 135th place in the starting lineup league. So well done to our friends out there who got off to an even better start. Let's check out the top of the scoreboard, Andrew. Yeah, first place, in it to win it, Richie Fierson, 97 points. That's pretty clever, Richie, to win. I didn't come up with that one. Best score and best name. In second place, it's my neighbor, Timothy Halter and the New Jersey Kings with 95 points. Like, like literally your neighbor across the fence or no? We're, we're all neighbors in New Jersey. It's a oh, tight knit group. Something like that. Third place, Nubius Sardinius Chan, a big week from him too, but uh, they all had something in common, Jason. They all had Will Bruin on their team. Interestingly enough though, none of them captained him, so their scores could have been a little higher. Yeah, definitely higher. 2,000 members now in the starting lineup league. Get in there now, do not wait. Compete with us, and look, if you haven't played, this is your first time, you just saw this video, starting lineup beginners league. It starts in week two, so you will not be behind. All right, it is time now for fan questions, and we're gonna start with Augie Amoruso. He says, is it safe to play Mike McGee this week? And if so, would you captain him? Look, I don't think Mike McGee is a great choice for round two. That hamstring injury kept him out in round one. No minutes there. We still don't know what to expect from the Chicago Fire. Wait and see on him. That is a big cap hit for an unknown. Yeah, I'm steering clear of Mike McGee, especially like you said, because that cap hit. There are other guys you could take, including Terry Henry, who has a nice matchup at home against Colorado this week. Yeah, moving on to the next question. Zach Steinberg, Zach Steiny, 13. Is Obafemi Martin safe to keep, or is it better to drop him and pick up Kenny Miller? I actually, looking at their schedules for the next few weeks, I like both of these guys. I don't think either one is a bad choice. I would say stick with the one who's already in your lineup, save the trade to go to use elsewhere. Yeah, and look, the, the one question mark here is we don't know exactly how Kenny Miller is going to be used. Pedro Morales, you figure he goes in the lineup. You figure Miller stays. Still a question mark. He is a PK taker, though. Next question coming in from at one citizen. He says, I like Sporting Kansas City in spite of the opening loss. Is Zuzi worth the cash, or are you too worried about the CCL impact? Now look, I banged that Captain Fantasy drum for all of 2013. I'm gonna take a step back. I don't think he's worth the money right now. I, however, am not very concerned about the CCL impact. Look, they played at home in week week. They'll play at home on the weekend. I don't think that should affect your decision making too much. I'm a little bit more concerned than Andrew is. I, I think there is gonna be some CCL impact. They have to rest the players at some point. All right, we are getting to uh, the final. Uh, all right, next question coming in from Tomer Barazani. I'm not a good pronunciation guy. Never have been. He says, what would be the ideal captain for you this week? And another question coming in along those same lines from Steve Mills. He says, who's the one player you must have in your lineup this week? And of course, those questions are begging for the first Oh, captain, my captain of the 2014 season. Yeah! At number three, Darren Maddox. I know he didn't have his finishing boots on in week one, but you saw how dangerous he can be getting behind the defenses. And despite having a decent first showing, I think Chivas USA lack of speed and athleticism is going to get exposed this season starting this week. At number two, Obafemi Martins. Everyone is excited to see Toronto FC in action, as am I. 
but they've yet to show real cohesion throughout the preseason. Oba was close against Sporting Kansas City. I think he gets one or two this weekend against Toronto. At number one, Will Bruin of the Houston Dynamo. He has begun his campaign to put Josie on notice ahead of the World Cup. I think he has his second straight big game to start the season against the Montreal Impact team that knows a little something about giving up goals in Texas. Well, we'll start at number three, and that is Thierry Henry. He's got that match against Colorado at home. Didn't play in Vancouver. I think he gets it done to start the season. At number two, I'm playing it safe. I know Jason's taking risks, but look, Tally Hall's going to get a shutout. He's going to get points. He's going to double those points. If he's your captain, he's your man at number two. And then number one, we actually agree. Will Bruin. Those big timers didn't captain him in week one. They should have, and you should this week. I know I am. He's going to get goals against the Montreal Impact. They are weak on that back line, and you are going to reap the rewards. All right, that's all we have for starting lineup this week. Good luck to all of you with it. That's all we have today. Good luck in your games this weekend. Make sure you check back Nick's We. <laughs> I can't end it. We can't leave. <laughs> Good luck in your games this weekend. Make sure you check back next week for plenty more fantasy advice. And more importantly, what will he wear?